expanding fractional exponents with variables in the numerator and denominator. Okay, so there's a couple ways to do this, but I think this is the easiest way. First thing you need to do is subtract the corresponding denominator exponents from the numerator exponents. Okay, so what does that mean? That means, see how this x variable has negative 4 over 4, and this has 5 over 6, so we need to subtract those, okay? Since one's in the numerator and one's in the denominator, all right? So I wrote that here, okay? And the same goes for the rest. So we have 5 over 1 minus negative 3 over 3, then we have negative 8 over 7 minus negative 4 over 2, okay? So I just made that bigger, so it'd be easier to subtract. And then we get this. So this term here, or expression, excuse me, becomes negative 11 over 6. This expression becomes 6 over 1, and so on. Okay, so now we can just write it as x to the negative 11 over 6, y to the 6, z to 6 over 7. And then the entire thing is still raised to the negative 2 thirds power. Okay, so I didn't get rid of this guy yet. All right. Now, after that, we need to distribute the exponent here to each individual number or variable's exponent. So we don't have any numbers. So we're just going to distribute this to each exponent, like that. Okay? So when we distribute, that means we're going to multiply. Remember, when you raise a power to a power, you multiply them. Okay, so I just made it bigger here. So negative 11 over 6 times negative 2 thirds. 6 times negative 2 thirds. And 6 sevenths times negative 2 thirds. Okay, so we multiply those out and we get these values here. Okay. So now I can rewrite my expression as x to the 22 over 18, y to the negative 12 over 3, and z to the negative 12 over 21. These are terrible values. So the last thing we need to do is reduce them. Okay. All right. So 22 over 18 is also 11 over 9. Negative 12 over 3 is also negative 4. Negative 12 over 21 is also neg uh, negative 4 over 7. Okay. Most teachers will allow you to leave your reduced fractional exponents in improper form, okay? Uh, make sure, of course, you always double check with your teacher, but I don't think I've ever seen a teacher force you to reduce these to mixed, okay? You might have to get rid of these negatives, and for more help on that, you can see the other videos that we have, okay? So this completes our problem right here.